Good morning, my friends. I want to share with you one of my favorite tips for building momentum and progress in your limbic rewiring journey. The tip is to go over the science of brain function for five to 10 minutes at least every single day, whether that's going on YouTube and finding some reliable sources and you know consuming a little bit of new information each day, going back to the program that you bought when you started your journey and just going back over the basics of brain, the brain science aspect of that and why and how and what's happening when you get triggered, when you get activated, when you're having symptoms, what is your practice designed to do? How is it changing your brain? All of that. Go over that. Keep reabsorbing it a little bit every single day. And there's two reasons for that. One is when, I, when we start to, when we get triggered and we go into survival mode, our, the safety, you know, concern center of our brain is going to hijack all of our brain function and try to help us feel safe. When that hijack happens, we forget everything we else. We forget all practical information. We're just on high alert looking for where's the threat? Where's the threat? Where's the threat? That's it. Which ties into the second thing. The number one thing that helps us to create traction and momentum is consistently telling ourselves why this is happening. The second we can identify why we're having symptoms or why we're feeling the way we're feeling, we immediately feel a little bit safer. And also we have a sense of direction of how to approach this and what to do practically, which is also really comforting because the num one of the number one things your limbic system is going to want and need is to be able to do something about it. That's one of our biggest things. We just want to be able to do something about how we're feeling and make it better. And like anything in the human brain, if we don't understand something or why it's happening, that's part of what makes it so scary. When something doesn't make sense, it's innately more scary. It's the unknown. It's like the theme of anything scary is part of why it's scary is we don't understand it. Like how did Einstein become Einstein? Why is that shadow moving across the wall? I don't know. It's scary. Something's wrong. So when you can, when you go over it, when you repeat and re- fill your mind with that information every single day a little bit more and a little bit more it starts to get to the point where it will click and it will stick just because of sheer repetition so that even when you're triggered you can remember oh that's right that's what's happening in my brain right now i know what to do i understand how it works i have a reason to believe it will work and that is what then you can implement it and you're going to just create a, a deeper baseline of calm and safety because there's this overall container of understanding of what's happening why it's happening, and what to do about it. All right. Wishing you courage and love on your journey today.